evaluation of the night will be Stephen Dix's speech, and the evaluation will be by Barry McDonfield. Stephen, well done. Terrific speech. Really enjoyed it. I heard a few of your speeches now, and I enjoy each one of them. I think you come across quite relaxed on the stage, and you've got that sense of humour about you, and a bit of few comments thrown in that bring the humour out of the audience as well. I think it's terrific. As Pauline mentioned, every speech in Toastmasters is evaluated on certain objectives that are set out in the Content Communicator book. And I just want to talk about the ones that Stephen was trying to address tonight. And the first is to persuade us to adopt a viewpoint or take an action. I think it's already been covered here. I, I think we're so persuaded now to take risks, I'm worried that we're all going to jump out the window <laughs> before we're finished. There's definitely a theme. I don't know how you manage to grow. <laughs> the second thing he's meant to do is to appeal to the audience's interests. I think he did that as well, very well, because he talked about how we all feel when we come up here to do table topics and we're afraid we're hiding down the back hole in the ears and won't pick us later on. <laughs> And he talked about the first meeting we ever came to, and we wondered whether it was going to be some stuffy kind of setup and everybody kowtowing to one another, which of course it is. He's also meant to apply logic and appeal to logic, and he quoted scientific research, not necessarily attributed, but did, it, did quote it. And he's to appeal to our emotions, which again goes back to the Toastmasters context. And it's to deal with body language and vocal variety. And I think he did that very well. His, his language was good. He was quite open up here on the stage. And he did the step and the small step and the big step for different things that were happening. But it's a stage nine, so it should also build on all the things that we've learned since we started. And I think Stephen did that really well. The start of the speech was really good. It got our attention. You were over to you and asked him a question. Eye contact was good. Body language was good. And for the rest of us, it was very intriguing because we were asked, are we sitting comfortably? And we're asked that quite regularly. And we all go, yeah. And, and that's meant to be a good thing. And you said, no, not necessarily. You shouldn't necessarily be sitting comfortably. You should push yourself out to the edge. I think that was a great start to the speech. As I've said already, your body language is good. You were open, you were up on the stage, facing the audience, no notes, out there. In terms of things maybe you could work on, I thought your use of the, spa the space, albeit that you were out here, I think you could have moved around a bit, talked to this side, talked to that side, maybe involved the whole audience down the back as well as up the front. I also think that you could maybe have created more visual images. There were some images, but I think you could build on that a little bit more. But I want to talk about the part of the speech that really appealed to me. I think it was really excellent, was your use of language. You had phrases about the pinnacle of self-actualization, the apex of achievement, sinking into the abyss, paralyzed by fear. And we can all you know, empathize with that when we go to Toastmasters. So I think your, your use of language and speech was really, really good. So overall, a terrific speech. I think you, you show what can be learned by going through nine stages of your content communicator. And I, you'll have no problem with your number 10. Next time I see you, I want to see CC on your badge. <laughs> <laughs>